All right, next example, number four. Astronomers often, often use the unit light year to express intergalactic distance. If light travels at 3 times 10 to the 10th centimeters per second, one year is a minus 365 days, what is the distance of a light year in kilometers? All right, so here, what can we start with? We can start with one year. Now, how can we get out of that? Well, we can use it. They tell us that there's 365. days per year again we want to get to seconds here because our units in our speed is in seconds but we're in years we got to cancel that where we get from years to days times 24 hours per day times I'm going to combine my seconds and minutes to get 3600 seconds per hour makes sense 60 seconds times 60 minutes 3,600 seconds. All right, so my days are canceled out. My hours are canceled out. I have seconds. What I can do now is use this as a conversion factor, my speed. So I can do th times 3.00 times 10 to the 10th centimeters over seconds. It's an S. The seconds will cancel out. Now I have centimeters. What did my final answer want to need to be in? In kilometers. So I can say times centimeters go on the bottom kilometers on top kilometers are bigger so i'll put the one there so what is the relationship between centimeters and kilometers one times 10 to the fifth centimeters is one kilometer so since all my units cancel out and i get kilometers now it's time to solve the problem so i do all the math and i'll get 9.46 times 10 to the 10th kilometers. Uh, sig figs here, I did not do a good job of telling you, like saying exactly one year or, or about one year. Um, in such a case, if you left it as uh, 9.46 times 10 to the 10th kilometers is fine. You could also round this off to nine times 10 to the 10th kilometers, that'd also be fine. And on the AP and, and throughout this class, if you're one significant figure off, you're okay. When you start to get two or three, even four sig figs off, that's when uh, you'll start getting points taken off or something like that. All right, let's look at number five here. The density of lead is 11.3 grams per cubic centimeter. Which of the following contains the greatest mass of lead? A pound of lead, half a kilogram of lead, or 0.05 liters? So I have three different values, two of them masses. Right, pounds is a mass, kilograms is a mass, but liters is a volume. I have to get them all into a common mass, right? Because it's asking which has the greatest mass of lead. I'm going to choose um, grams on this. So the first thing I need to do is convert all three of these to grams. So if I take my 1.0 pounds, I have to get that into grams. I see that I have a conversion factor here. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So to get rid of my pounds, I could put one kilogram on top, 2.2 pounds on the bottom. Pounds or, uh, The pounds would cancel out. I have kilograms. Again, I said let's get to grams. There are 1,000 grams for every one kilogram. Kilogram cancels out. I could solve this, and I get 454.45454. Instead of writing that out, I'm going to think, hey, you know what? I have two sig figs starting here. Let me just write 450 grams. Next one, I have 0 0.50 kilograms. Here's an easy one. Convert this into grams. 1,000 grams for every one kilogram. Two sig figs. 500 grams or 5.0 times 10 to the second grams. Since, since we're not asked like exactly... Who, which one has the most mass or what is the highest mass? We're just asked which one has the highest mass. We don't have to worry too much about sig figs in this problem. The last one, 0 0.05 liters. 0 0.050 liters. All right, first thing we need to do is get this into milliliters. For every one liter, there are 1,000 milliliters. My liters will cancel out. I have milliliters. Now I look up in the uh, hints kind of thing. I got one centimeter cubed is one milliliter. 
Now I'm in centimeters cubed. Now I can use my density as a conversion factor. 11.3 grams per centimeter cube. My centimeter cubes cancel out. I can uh, simplify this to 565 grams. So now the question was, which of the following has the uh, greatest mass of lead? That 0 0.050 liters. Oh, sig figs. I should have written 570 grams over here. Two sig figs. All right, not too bad. All right, number six. We finally get in uh, a little more chemistry here. There are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of mercury and 201 grams of mercury. The density of mercury is 13.5 grams per milliliter. So we have a couple conversion factors there. What is the volume in micrometers or micrometers cubed? I give you the uh, hint there. That's micros 1 times 10 to the negative 6th. Occupied by one mercury atom. So here we're going to start with one atom. All right. Do we have anything that relates to one atom? Well, I can look up here and it says... That for every 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms is 201 grams. So the grams must go on top so that my 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms goes on the bottom and the atoms can cancel out. All right, don't be scared of this number just because it's really big. It's in scientific notation. Don't let it scare you. Just treat it like any other number. All right, so now I have grams, but they're asking, what is the volume? Well, over here... I have my density being 13.5 grams per milliliter. Well, I have grams here, so I know my 13.5 grams go on the bottom, one milliliter on top. I'm getting closer. My grams go away. I'm trying to get a volume in micrometers cubed, and I have milliliters. I know from the previous uh, problem that one centimeter cubed is one milliliter. So now I'm in centimeters cubed. I need micrometers cubed. So I need to figure out what the relationship between micro and centi is. I know centimeters has to go on the bottom anyway, because I have centimeters on the top here. So my micrometers go on the uh, top. Which one's bigger? Centimeters are bigger. Micrometers are smaller. And by how much? There are 1 times 10 to the fourth. So there's 10,000 micrometers for every 1 centimeter. All right, I have centimeters cubed here and centimeters, so I need this three times. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat a little bit and just put this cubed. So I do that, that three times so that I can get centimeters cubed and micrometers cubed. If my final answer is in micrometers, that's perfect. I could plug all this in and simplify. Um, again, the sig figs are not particularly good, so they just said one mercury atom. So I'm just going to um, kind of stay in three sig figs here. I'll get 2.47 times 10 to the negative 11th micrometers cubed. So a very small number, very small amount. And again, atoms are extremely, extremely small. 